Hi, good day to all. This is Kelvin here again. Welcome to today's edition of Earnings Watch video where I'll be covering Amazon, Facebook and Google from a technical analysis perspective. Before we get started, let's take a look at the disclaimer slides first. Alright, so here we go. So uh, as you all know, today will be the remaining big tech earnings report release. So let's take a look at the consensus estimate uh, surveyed from FactSet. So uh, Amazon, Google and Facebook, they all will be reporting their earnings after the close of today's US session. So uh, I'll flash these slides uh, for a while to actually for you to guys to take a look at their consensus estimate on their, on their revenue as well as the earnings per share. All right, great. So now let's jump into the technical analysis of these three companies that I'll be sharing with you all in greater detail right now. Okay, let's switch to the CMC trading platform. So let's start with Amazon.com first. All right. So let me take a look at the very long term uh, monthly chart. Uh, I'll put it in lock as you all know that uh, Amazon has been trading in a very exponential uh, uptrend so uh, if I put it in a lock on a monthly scale we able to do, we'll be able to do more meaningful uh, technical analysis from it so since the low of November 2008 it's been trading in the long-term circular bullish trend the key long-term support will be at 2000 followed by a key long-term resistance at 5840-6210 which is defined by a FIBO extension cluster level as well as the upper boundary of this long-term ascending channel. So in terms of momentum wise over here as we could see on the RSI, uh, RSI is on the overbought region uh, but not kind of a, an extreme overbought as was seen in the previously during September 2008. Uh, and it doesn't have any uh, bullish or pardon me, a bearish divergence uh, signal to be aware of. Okay, now let's take a look at the daily chart over here where we could actually derive the short to medium term trading strategy. So on the daily chart, I want to highlight over here in terms of uh, the Elliott wave or a fractal analysis uh, approach uh, from December to December 2018 low all the way up to the current high level that was in September 2020 what we could see over here is that uh, this amazon.com is been evolving in a kind of a major uh, bullish structure I would say is that it just recently completed a potentially a wave 3 target at this all-time high level at this 35.53 so why do I say so because if I do the FIBO extension that I'll be sharing with you all right now Okay, taking from the low of 2018, I'll project it from here to here. Okay, you see it exactly stop at the 2.618 wave three extension target. That if you will do another feeble projection from the start of 16 of March, where the reasons sell off uh, triggered by the coronavirus uh, pandemic. So if I were to do the feeble extension from here, from the low, you project up to here to here you see the uh, fifth wave target which confluence at this uh, 38.2 level which is also give you right exactly at the 35.53 level all right so we start to see two feeble cluster level that is actually confluencing at this 35.53 level which is the 2.618 and followed by the 38.2 level so this actually give us a kind of a, uh, a kind of a uh, added uh, probability or increased probability that this uh, wave 3 major wave 3 has ended and right now we are actually in the process of retracing this up move from the start of wave 2 to the end of wave 3 we call it in the process of doing a corrective wave 4 and also we're talking about the daily indicator the daily RSI indicator is also supporting this corrective wave 4 view as we could see that RSI is very weak is now dipping below uh, 40 level it's part of it below 50 level after tracing a series of lower highs as we could see from here okay so now so what I have over here is that uh, keeping in mind I have a key resistance level to watch uh, ahead of the earnings uh, report will be at 3320 as long as 3320 uh, doesn't break it may start to uh, shape uh, what I call a, a push down to test this uh, 3060 level slash uh, 30,000 level uh, maximum at this uh, 2885 level which is a uh, confluence uh, with this former swing low area of 21st of September and as well as the 20th 
7th of July 2020. So let's take a look at the, I want to show you the shorter time frame chart because as you know that yesterday we started to see a very steep uh, sell off. So let's take a look at the one hour chart from here. Okay, so what we see this one hour chart over here is actually tracing off a what I call a uh, one, two, three, four, five, kind of a uh, five wave uh, down move. So the fifth wave has on, has not really uh, has not really ended yet. So what we could see uh, over here is let me do the fifth wave projection for the fifth wave target, potential fifth wave target. Okay, it actually confluences at this uh, thirty sixty slash uh. uh 30,000 level. So what it could means on the very short term over here is that yes, we may start to see a kind of a, a, a further a further potential a slide towards this zone over here, which is the fifth wave target, before shaping up another we call it a snapback rally. And this snapback rally shouldn't surpass this uh, 3320 level uh, before shaping another down move to actually uh, uh, retest this 2885 uh, level for Amazon. Okay, now uh, with Amazon uh, in mind, let's take a look at the next stock, which is Facebook. All right. So uh, from Facebook over here is that uh, the long term uh, circular uptrend remains intact. This is the monthly chart in lock with the low of the channel uh, at this uh, September 2020. Key support level will be at uh, 193, 193 with the key resistance at uh, 440, which is defined by the upper boundary of this channel and a FIBO extension cluster level. Now let's move to the daily chart on this. Okay, before I move to the daily chart strategy, nothing uh, pretty much significant on the RSI. Okay, RSI is still pretty much neutral, not at not at the overbought level. There's no kind of a bearish divergence to take note of as well. Okay, on the daily chart. Okay, moving on forward on the daily chart, what we could see over here is that uh, we we start to see a completion of a wave one, uh, from the low of uh sub from the law of pandemic on 17 of March 2020 and what we could see now is actually a retracement of this uh, wave 1 uh, impulsive up move to actually shape this uh, wave 2 over here so a uh, potential target for that wave 2 over here is at this uh, 244 pandemic 244 227 slash uh, 224.25 level. So what are these level over here is actually the 38.2% retracement and the 50% retracement of the entire wave move that start the entire up move that started from March this year March low all the way up to the current all time high at 26 August 2020. And also if I were to do a a a, 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 a what you call it a FIBO extension on the downside, you realize that it also confluence to this 2247 224 pardon me, 17 level as well. So let me draw the FIBO extension for you all. Okay. Okay, you see actually confluence the point seven seventy six point four and a one time FIBO projection. All right, okay, let me remove this for better clarity. So in terms of momentum wise, uh, indicator also momentum indicator is pretty much negative. As you can see the RSI stock at RSI oscillator right now actually attempting to break this uh, Ascending, ascending support as well as the 50 level. So what we could see over here is that yes, we start to see a very steep, uh, steep sell off yesterday. Let's go to the one hour chart from here. Okay. So I could see this uh one hour chart over here. It may start to see a one wave one to wave three down move. So potentially we could start to see a a minor wave four corrective snapback rally before another push down. So if I were to do the FIBO extension okay over here to here yeah so it's actually very close to the points point six one eight uh six one uh one six one point eight a uh, wave three target so we could actually indeed see, see a potentially a wave for snapback rally so this wave for snapback rally should actually okay, let me delete off the okay should actually we trace up to the 38.2% maximum 50%, which is at 273, 273.9 slash 275.40 level. So all in all, right, what 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 does it mean? We have over here for Facebook is in the shorter term, uh, is approaching a what you call it a minor wave three down target where we could see a minor wave four step back rally to take shape at towards 273.90 slash 275.40 level. So as long as we go go back to the daily chart, as long as this key medium term resistance level is not surpassed, which is 282.20. 
we can still see a further potential downside of Facebook to at least retest 244.17. A break below 244.17 should take us down lower towards 227 slash 224.25 level. A break above, uh, a daily close above 285.20 definitely invalid invalidates this bearish scenario to see a squeeze up to actually retest the current all time high level at 304.65. Now, the last stock that we will, we will touch on will be uh, Google Alphabet, which is the name of the holding company. Okay, in terms of Google, whereas over here is that uh, our firstly, let me share with you all the long term money lock chart first. Still trading in the ascending channel, uh, starting from the low of June 2011. The key support is at 1160.75 with key resistance at 221. 2111 which is uh, defined by the upper boundary of this channel as well as a FIBO uh, extension cluster level but one thing of the highlight of, for you is that the, uh, in terms of momentum wise is Google Alphabet is relatively weaker compared to Facebook and Amazon as you could see the RSI the monthly RSI has started to shape this uh, impending bearish divergence signal uh, since uh, Jan 2020 this year okay you can see this we start where price action start to shape a higher high, but uh, on the RSI, it start to instead start to shape a lower high on the uh, Google Alphabet uh, RSI momentum indicator. So uh, pretty much uh, cautious uh, that that we should have in mind uh, for Google uh, Alphabet. So let's move on to the daily chart, which actually I want to share with you the short to medium term uh, trading strategy. So similar as well on the daily RSI, pretty much bearish breaking below the 50 level uh, mark over here in, in suggesting that we may start to see further downside in terms of momentum as as has yet to actually hit the oversold uh, region so what we have over here uh, for the rsi is pardon me for the price action on google is that we got to take note of this uh, 16 30 1634 key medium term resistance as long as 1634 holds we may start to see a further pullback a further further decline to actually retest the recent uh, September low which is at 1402.75 a break below 1402.75 should take us down lower to 1345.60 which also confluence with the 50% retracement of the entire rally that takes shape since March this year low all the way up to the current all time high in September so let's look at a very short term uh, dynamic of the uh, Google Alphabet share price from the hourly chart okay, let's go on to the hourly chart so if you could see from the hourly chart over here is that we start to see a pretty uh, steep uh, sell off a gap down yesterday then it going to sell, sell off throughout the US session so what we could see over here from a fractal or Elliott wave approach is that we may start to see uh, or have already completed a minor wave 3 down move one two three so let's do the FIBO projection okay over here taking off the heart all right from here to here okay so it actually stopped at uh 38.2 with the one with the 1.618 wave 3 target at 149 one 1495 pardon me so what we could see over here is that yeah it may start to shape a bit of push down from here uh 149 nine five then thereafter it may start to see a snapback a minor wave for a snapback uh, we call it a snap a step back ready so where does this step back ready uh, should actually stop potentially stop it may stop at the gap here which is a 15 for 1555 uh, lower one will be a 1544 what's 1544 okay let me share what's 1544 let me delete this do the feeble retracement Okay, so in fact, uh, 1554 is a 38.38.2% retracement. Then 15, uh, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 44 is the 38.2% uh, retracement. Pardon me. And 1554 is actually the 50% retracement and also the uh, gap resistance as well. All right. So all in all, uh, for Google Alphabet share price is that uh, on the shorter term, we may start to see the completion of this uh, wave three minor wave three down move, where we could potentially see a snapback uh, rally uh, or snap or snapback up move. Uh, we should take us up to fifteen fifty four slash fifteen fifty five. But nevertheless, uh, as long as this key medium term resistance holds, which is at sixteen thirty four, we may start to see another down leg of Google Alphabet yet to at least be test fourteen oh two point seven five uh, going forward in the in the next uh, multi day uh, time horizon. Okay, guys, uh, that's all I have for today for earnings watch. Uh, so have a great trading day ahead, and I shall see you all in my next video.